The Tustin blimp hangars used to warehouse airships that patrolled the Pacific coast during World War II. Now, a new generation of airships is about to emerge from this giant structure. <laughs> You're looking at the Aeros craft. It's a cross between a jet and the Goodyear blimp. Mr. Igor Pasternak, who is the chief architect behind this um, aircraft, designed it to challenge and change the cargo industry. This is the cockpit where a pilot and co-pilot can operate the aircraft from just as they would in a regular plane. One of the most fascinating differences, however, is that with the aircraft, you can land and take off vertically. That means no runways are required. For example, say that you're in Orange County and you're in a parking lot. You're going to be able to lift up a cargo of up to 66 ton and then take it to an untenable area like, for example, Alaska. The vertical takeoff is meant to come in handy when transporting military or commercial cargo. They could also make a life or death difference providing relief to areas hit by disaster like Haiti. There's no ports, there's no aircraft, you couldn't, they couldn't take enough uh, supplies in at one load and a, a helicopter was all they could use. So this vehicle could take six times that amount at one shot, at one third the, the cost of a uh, helicopter. Timothy Kenny is a mechanical engineer for this first of its kind airship. He's been working on the aeroscraft since the design and build phase began more than three years ago. He says what makes this aircraft different from a blimp is that it has variable buoyancy. A traditional blimp flies lighter than air. That means if a passenger gets on, we have to take weight off. This aircraft um, allows it not to have that problem. And the aeroscraft has been designed to withstand any environment. Any environment from desert, from humidity to rain, sleet, ice, snow, water. It's 260 feet long. It's about 100 feet wide and 70 feet tall. This aircraft here is the 60 ton uh, prototype. Basically, we're building a demonstrator vehicle on this. The next vehicle will be about 200 feet longer. This prototype is slated to be complete by November and test flights will begin by the end of the year. The workload that this vehicle requires is very low. Um, one pilot can actually fly this whole aircraft just fine. Besides transporting cargo, there have been talks about using the Aeros craft in other ways. I mean, 66 tons of cargo could be anything. It could be a luxury hotel, it could be a cruise ship in the air. You know, a 300 passengers cruise ship, bowling alleys, the, the whole works. Nobody gets seasick. <laughs> Although the Aeros craft would travel much slower than a regular plane at about 115 miles per hour, Kenny predicts people would still want to use it as a luxury mode of travel. You could go from LA to San Francisco via a casino instead of sitting in your car for eight hours. Maybe you sit in for six hours and you just play craps all day. In Tustin, Arthi Neru, Real Orange.